To make that airplane stay up in the air, you got to get air to flow over the wing. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back to the Finer Points. This is kind of a, a special episode here. This is, come, this is coming out in between my normal videos um, because I was asked by Steph Strickland to be a part of this really, really cool effort called Aviation at Home. Um, this is Steph. Hey Jason, yes, it is called Aviation at Home and the idea is to bring together some awesome content creators from across the world to create an aviation series geared toward the nine to 11 or 12 year old. Where do you think I got the idea for this? Right here, this is my kid. <laughs> we are thrilled that you are a part of it. So I get to be a part of this with some amazing creators, some of whom I've been watching but I haven't met. Um, and I get to try to get my head around how to teach to kids between the ages of nine and 11. So I've been asked to kind of lead the effort here uh, with a video that explains how airplanes fly. And I started with my 10 year old daughter, Elena. And uh, she flies with us pretty regularly, but here's how that went. So sometimes we fly, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and do you ever fly the plane? Yes. Okay, what do I say to you when you fly the plane? Uh, well, you say a lot of things, <laughs> but uh, like look at the horizon. Look at the horizon, right? Do you know why the plane flies? Do you know what keeps it up there? Wind. Yeah. But anything else about wind? Uh, the wings and then it goes over and under the wings. That's right. The whole thing, the whole thing is about moving the wing through the air. All right, I might have simplified it just a little too much there. Um, the tail feathers matter too, right? On the back, we've got a vertical stabilizer, which keeps us flying straight, and a horizontal stabilizer, which helps set the angle at which the wing is hitting the air. Once the airplane's up there, it's really just balanced by four things. We, we talked about the lifting force pulling up. Of course, you have weight always acting down toward the center of the earth always. And we've got some thrust something pulling that wing through the air, a propeller, a jet, something's got to move that wing forward. And anytime we go forward, we also get some drag, right? A force pulling backward. Just try sticking your hand out of the window of a moving car, not moving too fast, of course, but you'll feel your hand go backwards, right? It's, it's not all that different with an airplane. So once the airplane's up there, those four forces are constantly balanced in what we call steady state flight. But after that, it really is about the wing. It's about keeping air flowing over the wing at sufficient velocities. And it's about hitting the air at such an angle that the wind can continue to go over the top. That's what I would tell you, and no matter what age you are, fly the wing. And you know, it's, it's not lost on me that we're very, very lucky to do this. We're very fortunate that not everybody gets to fly around in a light airplane. Um, so this may be more for the parents out there, but I really try to keep the kids at least half the time with their heads up looking out the window. Kind of drives me crazy when all they want to do is watch a movie or a show or something they can do anywhere. Um, so some ideas for that, you know, um, sometimes we play I Spy. We look around the airplane like I Spy with my little eye, a farm or, or whatever it is. Um, sometimes we play hangman. But I gave a hangman. Oh, yeah. Are there any C's as in Charlie? No. You can just use the scratch pad on Foreflight to invent some words and play hangman. And at least while they're waiting for you to go, they're, they're looking around. And if you're the pilot and, and your child is up front with you, sometimes I bring a dry erase marker, a little like Expo pen or something that's not permanent. And I literally just draw a line on the windscreen, on the horizon, um, and ask Elena to hold it there. You know, look out the window and hold that line on the horizon. That's great primary flight training for people of any age. I do that with my regular students. Do you think you want to be a pilot someday? Honestly, no. <laughs> but, um, I like flying an airplane. 
<laughs> That's a great answer. All right, aviators, thanks for watching this video. A huge thanks to Steph Strickland for putting all this together and to all of my creator colleagues. Um, this has been really fun and kind of a fun challenge and I'm really happy to be a part of this. So the hashtag is aviation at home and um, let's see, Steph will tell you who's next. From Jason, now we send it over to Nancy with Fly Good Aviation. As a CFI and a commercial pilot, she is well equipped to tell us exactly what flight training looks like. Look for that installment in our Aviation at Home series next. All right, you guys, you can find me Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific on Instagram. I'm at Learn the Finer Points. If you have any questions at all, please come join me Monday through Friday, 0900 Pacific at Learn the Finer Points. Thanks for watching this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and uh, stay tuned for some awesome videos coming this week. Hashtag aviation at home.